Do not operate this machine until you read and fully understand all the dangers, warnings, and cautions in the manual before continuing. This video is for instructional assistance purposes only. The following instructions are to view and or reset the factory parameter settings only. If not followed correctly, the balancer will malfunction and or instruct you to put weights at locations that may cause improper balance. These parameter settings are preset at the factory and should only be adjusted for special circumstances. Safety goggles should be worn at all times. Avoid wearing loose clothing or jewelry. Always wear proper protective clothing such as gloves and steel-toed boots. Important note, before performing the following procedure, make sure the centering cones and shaft are clean and undamaged. Even the slightest dirt or damage can cause inaccurate readings. Pay close attention to the following procedures. If not followed correctly, the balancer will not perform properly. Unplug the power supply before continuing to avoid internal electric shock. The weight tray must be removed to see the parameter settings located inside the cabinet. To do this, first remove the Allen head bolt at the end of the distance arm to remove the distance arm handle. Remove the screws located at each corner of the weight tray. Once the screws have been removed, pull up on the weight tray and set to the side. Locate the parameter setting decal typically positioned on the inside cabinet face. Record the settings exactly as written on the parameter setting decal. Once you have recorded the correct parameter settings, replace weight tray and distance arm handle. Replace power supply and turn on the power. Select a standard 16 inch steel wheel for this procedure and mount correctly. For instructions, refer to pages 10 and 11 in the DST-1000 manual. Enter the correct wheel data. For instructions, refer to page 12 in the DST-1000 manual. To change parameter settings, we must first be in the calibration mode. Press the Cal button and hold, then press the Start button. Hold both the Start button and the Cal button simultaneously for 6 seconds. The display screen will flash momentarily for 6 seconds, then display Cal Cal. To change the DIS setting, first press the A down arrow, then the A up arrow, and finally the Function button. It is not necessary to hold each button. At this time, DIS XXX will be shown on the display panel. XXX represents data already entered. Actual number may vary. Note, if DIS XXX is not displayed, try again pressing the buttons more rapidly. To adjust the DIS setting, use the B up or down arrows. The down arrow button will move in a negative direction and the up arrow button will move in a positive direction. Proceed directly to the IN setting by following the next procedure. After checking or properly adjusting the DIS setting, press the A up arrow twice. At this time, IN minus XXX will be shown on the display panel. XXX represents data already entered. Actual number may vary. To adjust the IN setting, use the B up or down arrows. Note, the IN setting uses positive or negative readings. The numbers continually rotate around the clock using the B up or down arrows. Example, IN minus XXX is a negative number setting. IN plus XXX is a positive number setting. After checking or properly adjusting the IN setting, press the A up arrow twice to enter the SFA setting. At this time, SFA XXX will be shown on the display. XXX represents data already entered. Actual number may vary. To adjust the SFA setting, use the B up or down arrows. The up arrow button will move in a positive direction and the down arrow button will move in a negative direction. Finally, to store all the data just entered, press the A up arrow twice to return the wheel data settings. Double check all wheel data entries, then proceed directly to the calibration procedure and complete.